Continuing coverage of our top story, the future of Mercury Marine. Beginning of the news tonight, we mentioned that hundreds of members of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, that's local 1947 in Oshkosh, turned out to cast their vote today. We're told by several union members that about 80% of the 800-plus members voted today. On the table, more than 850 manufacturing jobs. The union's voting for a third time on more than 100 changes the company has insisted on making to its existing current contract. Mercury Marine has said if the contract is rejected, the company would move those manufacturing jobs to Stillwater, Oklahoma. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus has been in Fond du Lac again this evening, has balanced coverage tonight of day one of the two-day vote. They stood together in line, but it's clear union members are divided on this contract. Well, I didn't want to have to vote again. Some feel this third vote on changes to their existing contract is unnecessary. They feel the union's sound rejection of the offer Mercury says it needs to keep 850 manufacturing jobs in Fond du Lac still stand. I was really thankful we got one more chance to, to vote. Others say their first vote was on a motion. They want to keep their jobs and the company here, despite what many call painful concessions. The proposal would freeze pay, reduce benefits, and cut wages for new and rehired workers by 30%. It sure has a lot of effect on the laid off employees that have over 35 years and are going to be taking it in the shorts. It won't be good for them because they're all the cuts they're getting, but at least they'll have a job. It's a different situation for John Steinke. After 40 years with the company, he says his yes vote means he'll lose his job, but he isn't voting for himself. I'm voting for my children and my grandchildren in the future of Final Act. I mean, what do you got if you don't have Mercury? They know that and we know that. We feel we've had a pretty good turnout today. We've had a lot of people come through. Everybody's getting, you know, getting to come in and, and put their vote down. Many feel that vote will be extremely close. District leaders wouldn't say how many of the 800 eligible voters cast ballots or answer questions, but union members say about 80 percent have already voted. In Fond du Lac, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News.